I'm going to discuss TCP zero windows. I get several questions about, you know, what is that? What is the process? What's happening when a zero window happens? I'm going to show you using Expert Observer. If we look at TCP events for this particular connection, first off, we can see the network round trip time very fast, less than a millisecond, about a half a millisecond, 678 microseconds. So we can tell that our network round trip time is relatively fast. But here's what we're going to look at over here. There were some retransmissions and a zero window. So a zero window typically in TCP is flow control. It's a device telling the other side to, to pause or to, you know, be patient. Don't send me any more information. You filled my TCP window. And the window changes in every packet based on how much data has the device has received. So we'll just zoom in on this one zero window here and I'll show you the easy way in Expert Observer is to right click, choose Connection Dynamics. It puts that conversation in a timeline and again we see the three-way handshake there. It takes about 680 milliseconds, pretty fast. I'm going to click on Tools, Find Packet, Error Packet, and I drop down and choose zero window here. You see there's lots of other errors the analyzer can find for us, but we'll just say find us the zero window packet and we'll find it in the down position. Takes it to us right there, we're seeing the zero window, window equals zero. So we see that right there. And again, just using the analyzer, we see in the previous packet the window was 2520, 2520 bytes. It received some data, obviously, and it set the window to zero. Now we'll see that about 77 milliseconds goes by here on the, the client side, and it then reopens the window to 6,520 bytes. So the window on the client filled. It had received all the data that, you know, from the server that it could potentially handle in its TCP window based on bytes. It uh, told the other side, Windows 0, so it told the server, hey, don't send me any more data. Handed that data up to the application. The application processed it, handed the, the RAM, if you will, the uh, available space back down to the TCP stack, and the TCP stack was able to reopen its window to 6,500 and 6,000 no, sorry, 65,520 bytes. And then that conversation was able to continue. And again, that process took 77 milliseconds for the client to process the data that it had received. Now, within Observer, there's a relatively easy way in the decode to build a filter looking for the window zero. Um, probably the easiest way is to know where that information lives. And if we highlight the window field, you notice it tells us that's at offset 48. Now that's from the beginning of the packet, so we kind of have to be careful. We could also see that it lives um, here starting at 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, starting at 14 bytes from the TCP header. If we notice the TCP st header starts here, so the window lives at 14 bytes. So we can do this by simply building a filter, post filter, new filter, and we'll create this filter and we'll call it uh, TCP window equals zero. Right click, edit the rule as pattern, and we'll tell it instead of from the beginning of the packet, we could do that and choose offset 48, or we could do IP, TCP, let's go find IP, TCP, and then from there we'll count over 14 bytes and look for the hex value of 
zero 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 because it is a two byte field remember we counted zero one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen starts the beginning of that two byte field so if we put in the two bytes of zero zero that should find every packet that has the uh, window zero so we'll click OK to that we have our our filter built we click OK to that uncheck any filters there check that filter click OK and we should get the one packet that has the TCP window of zero and we actually see that right there in the detail window so I hope that helps out with some understanding of the TCP window process again it is a mechanism for flow control is it a problem not necessarily but it could be if devices send lots of zero windows then basically they're potentially running out of resources or RAM one or two window zeros here or there is not a problem it is just normal flow control many zero windows you need to be looking at you know that client or that server how many sessions they're running you know obviously there's some resource constraints on that device again I hope that uh, gives you some good information thanks